Hey, hey, we're recording. Welcome to my channel. This is True Divine 44. I am Jennifer Roberts. I bring a narrative to you each day to help guide you on your way, to help recognize the energies within you, around you, and within others. Uh, combining that with tarot to help bring a narrative to you, to help you make the most of each day. It is general, so take what resonates and leave what does not. Uh, and it is for the 2nd of November 2020. Welcome to November. I apologize that I didn't get on yesterday. Um, needed some time to just take in the energies, do my own work, um, do my own work, particularly on the back of the work I did during um, Sam Hain. And being a part of that energy was very magical, very spiritual, and very connected. So um, I appreciate you for. <laughs> For hanging around for today's reading. So, ay, 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 intense, eh? So, we've got here on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and it speaks of the Psyops is out there in every direction you can possibly look at or think of. Um, to be very careful to not be taken off your path. Um, uh, what looks good right now, you know, um, there's a possibility to ulterior motives to it. Be more like the horse in this card in that, you know, um, use your base instincts trying to um, not be triggered into or fooled into um, a path that looks good, sounds good, but that is to take you away from the very path that you need to be or should be on. Um, so keep that in mind throughout this reading. Now we have the six, seven, eight, eight of pentacles. Um, so what are you building? What are you concentrating on? What can you do right now? Rather than looking at what limitations there are, um, finding a way around the obstacle. This speaks to a lot of people, particularly in the UK right now, as Boris spouts out more um, garbage regarding the next lockdown and um, infrastructure, um, building houses will still be allowed, but small businesses, oh no, no, because they are the spreaders of disease. It is time to stand up in the masses and open your damn businesses, protect your own family, you know, be sovereign and be divine and to do it en masse so that there is very little they can do about it. The only reason they're able to roll out things like this and they keep attempting to do so um, is because people en masse put up with it. Um, so the very few are very easy to, they're easy pickings, they're easy to pick off, they're easy to fine and shut down and then the fear keeps rolling out because the next person doesn't want that to happen. But you need to get a hold of yourself, I think, a little bit and think that, hold on a minute, the government hasn't really been there to help me, as they said there would be. Um, they never really are. If I don't open my business, this next lockdown will finish it for good. So it's time to stand up for what you've built, for what you've worked so hard for, um, in particular in the UK. Um, it's very important. So the next card, the first card in the reading is the star card, the lovely, beautiful major arcana suggesting deep, deep healing needing to be done. Um, and this is so, um, it's so deep today, the need for this, um, where you're being triggered to use those, to use those trigger points, not to externalize even more, but to internalize that pain, to find out why it triggers you so much, to find out why it's knocking you off your equilibrium. This really is a, a test in time, but a test in time, you know, if you put the work in within, um, is going to pay off in dividends. And to stop thinking of this as it paying off just in the 3D reality, that the kind of healing that we're going through now in the transits that we're going through right now is, is not just for this existence, 
but has a direct effect on on you know um the the planets themselves on on that the energies that they then give off um the more triggered we are the more triggered they are as within so without um to realize that this is a circuit just as you see this star card here creating a circuit by pouring one jug in the water and having one foot in the water a knee on the ground and a foot on the ground while pouring the other jug on the ground it's creating a circuit everything affecting everything and everyone um so it really is an internal journey right now it really is an opportunity to to seek out like a heat seeking missile the very things that that aren't right with you that that have been caused through trauma you know even past life trauma or dna trauma to your family line it can be as deep as that and to, to really use it as a tool rather than being used as a tool um, and getting further triggered but to use it as a tool to seek out some of the things that you need to seek out from within um a lot of that was the work that i've done personally over this weekend over this weekend gone um where where I seem to be attracting attention from a few people, you know, why? Oh, um, and what is my response to that? Is my response to that to um, be subservient to it? Or is my response of that to say, okay, I see what, what is being thrown at me. Let me um, see where that resonates within me. Um, and and finding a way around um, so so the, so it's it's impossible to trigger me from that point of view anymore. It's gone. It's it's finished. It's dissolved. Um, so any energy thrown out that way towards me anymore will just go straight back to sender because it has no it has no place here. It has no home here. It has nowhere to deposit itself here. So. The next card to clarify that is the five of swords so where are you being attacked and tied up and rather than staying tied up through the giving authority to whatever trigger points are being put towards you um this is the way that you dissolve those 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 bind th those things that bind you those things that have your hands tied behind your back and your swords taken away. Take back those thoughts, take them back, use them as a gift, use them to transmute your energy into the energy of the star card to create such deep, overwhelming healing and to create such calmness, even in the midst of the biggest storm that we are in. Um, so what can you do to, to externalize this this authority source that keeps thinking it's got the authority to throw these things at you thinking that it knows it that you'll be triggered you can flip the script you can use it as the gift to trigger yourself into the star card energy for deep healing deep hope the ability to be connected in this realm and in all other realms, particularly in the dream world, particularly the messages that are wanting to come through from ancestors who have been here, done it, got the t-shirt and want to give you the analysis to, to, to allow you to not get caught up in this. So the next card is the four of wands. So this speaks of the home, creating a happy home space. Um, again, in the UK, a lot of people are being triggered into um, the fear of their own home. Okay, so why does that create fear? Yes, it's a balance and act of getting the truth out, but why does that create fear? Is it because you haven't found yourself the right place to live or you haven't created that space to be um, a, a reflection of what you are, who you really are? Is it more of a reflection of you being there because you've been bound up there, you've been tied up there by the decisions of others? Is it because you've been bound up and tied up there because you haven't been um, as hopeful in self as your own abilities to build your own space, to create 
create your own space. So to start looking at it in a different way, we have the Ace of Cups here to clarify this Four of Wands. So um, to, again, this is the transmuting of those energies that would seek to tie you up, make you feel locked up, make you feel locked down in your own home um, to turn that around and say, okay, I'm going to make this home so comfortable. I'm going to make it so, um, the frequency within it so, so beautiful, so, so calming that actually the space that you are now creating for me that I used to avoid like the plague by going to the pub, going out constantly or being distracted constantly actually is my sanctuary. It's something that I have created that brings peace to me, that brings wholeness to me. And you're just giving me um, a, more of an opportunity to dig out and find out where that where that high frequency that that common frequency isn't in my home and i'm going to flip it around i'm going to change it you waving hey, hi um to make it into a space that is more compatible to me and more um pleasing to me um this is super important because again through that you are transmuting those trigger points that are being thrown at you you're not giving them the power you're not giving them the source that they want you're not giving them your energy that they so desperately desperately want um now the next card is the king of cups and so this speaks to um having the authority and the balance of your emotions you can only have the, the energy of the star card if you are able to be non-triggered and be able to look at your emotions and use them like that heat-seeking missile that I discussed um, to find out the trigger points and where you're not balanced um, without, without getting unbalanced. To be able to have the authority over those things is super powerful right now. To be able to stay in balance against all odds is super super powerful right now and in it's it's in itself is a, a level up for yourself um one second yes Emma, can you tell me where that lollipop is where will the guy in and the then, drawer and then you would like open it for me i didn't want you to stay don't want me to stay in the video so i just tell you that all right he didn't want to disturb the videos, he just kept doing this until he disturbed the video. Yeah, in that drawer, Theo. Okay, I think you should ask your sister because I need to speak to these people. Well, okay, well, I think you should wait one minute then and then I'll be able to sort it out for you. Okay. Okay, thank you. So to clarify the King of Cups, we have the Three of Wands. Um, so this speaks to taking action, creating something for yourself that is of um, sustainability. The Three of Wands very much so um, leading off from the Four of Wands in the previous cards. Um, again, within the home, what can you do today that will create a safer, more um, balanced, more creative space um, that, that is productive within your own home? What actions can you take today to create this space that makes it the most comfortable? Unfortunately, for some things that are going to take place, I feel that, you know, the action that you take now to create a safe and um, creative space within your home will become even more important. Um, that there will be extended periods of time with some reprieve in between of um, the home being the only option not taking this action will cause um will cause an imbalance within within that one second baby um will cause an imbalance within that um 
and will cause you to have a more uncomfortable time, um, a more uncomfortable place to be, which will then lead on to you having less ability to stay balanced within the triggers that are coming. Um, many more triggers. Now I want to I want to um, go back to just quickly, in spite of Theodore, <laughs> I want to go back to just quickly this Knight of Pentacles. Um, in that this Knight of Pentacles, uh, be super discerning, super discerning um, as to as regard to the um, the things that are being put before you that are seem like gifts of a path where you know the um the ability to earn in a different way the ability to um the ability to keep weapons um to my brothers and sisters in the usa um all of those things look good but to be honest, for a lot of what I'm saying is, is it, it doesn't really matter if you keep your weapons or not. It doesn't really matter because there are other things that are now going to be disclosed um, that weapons are nothing against them. And so it is important right now to um, look at things super, super discerningly and to be able to stay on your individual path right now, to, to build your own space, to build your own nucleus, your own cell, your own home, um, and make it a productive place, make it a um, aligned place to be for you. Um, make it your fortress right now. Um, that is really, really important. And be like the horse, have your instincts heightened. You know, the horse can smell um, poison in food that we couldn't even detect. The food might be the favorite, the food might be the favorite for that horse. It might be something that they truly, truly, it's their kryptonite. Yet if they smell that undercurrent that's that that little sprinkle of poison they won't eat it they won't they won't take it and um, their instincts are heightened because they haven't been indoctrinated so much to have the trigger points the emotional imbalance that we have so be like the horse um you know powerful in nature now they don't go looking for a fight do they horses but they they are willing to protect when the fight comes to them. So to make your home right now, the, the best place to be is the best thing you can do. Um, it's all about timing and it's all about where we've gotten to in this timeline thus far as to the things that we need to push a bit, shove a bit and then back off a bit, push a bit, shove a bit and back off a bit. It's all about balance and balance within the home. I'm sorry if this reading seemed a little bit disjointed um, because uh, uh, Theodore is, is his lovely persistent self. Uh, I hope it makes sense to you. If it resonated with you, please leave a comment. Um, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. We're going to get those subscribers up, baby. And um, you can check out my Instagram and my Twitter at The True Divine. And of course, if you'd like a personal or reading, spiritual guidance sessions, or any energy work sessions, you can hook up with me at truedivinemedia at gmail.com. Uh, or you can get me on my business page on Facebook, which is True Divine 44. Much love, stay balanced, and stay whole. Love you all. Say bye. 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 Come on, then we'll sort out whatever you wanted to sort out. Yeah. It's in the drawer.